There's also just bizarre stories about this man, which is why I wanted to start by talking about blind items, specifically this rumor that has been going on for years about Tom Cruise and a fish. I'm just gonna like, just start off with that. Now, just so you guys don't go in fully blind into these blind items, supposedly he likes to F fish, like open up the mouth of a fish, stick his wiener in it and like F a fish and then like get rid of it, which I like, I feel like I've heard a lot of things. I think like, you know, being, uh, uh, you know, an adult raised by the internet as a, you know, as a child um, that I, you know, I, I learned a lot, but I never heard a fish like, I forgot the sense of that, but like fish effing, like who does that? Here's one blind item, which a blind item is typically a piece of gossip that comes from an anonymous source. Usually they're vetted. I don't know about these, but they write, I'm originally from California, but I've been in a language immersion program in blank for the past 18 months. Yesterday I was doing my weekly shopping when I saw an A-list, mostly movie actor over at the fish counter. He was wearing a mask, actually two, one on top of the other but I knew it was him. They claimed that he had security with him and he actually was filming in the city. But he purchased a whole sea bass but requested they not wrap it up for him. He then took the fish into the men's room, was in there for about 10 minutes, and when he came out, he no longer had the fish. I don't know what he was doing with it, but it's effing weird. Um, I would agree. Also, that doesn't sound like allowed. Like when I'm in the grocery store, I already feel like kind of awkward, just like opening a bag of chips and like eating it before I buy it. You know, like oh, the other day though, I had like, I, my, I don't know if it was my blood sugar, you know, I'm no, I'm not a health expert. Something was off and I was in the grocery store. I was like, I need to open this diet Coke or I am going to pass out. So, uh, that's the furthest I would go taking a fish into the bathroom. I mean, I feel like security would stop you, but if you have your own security like do you think like you know the ralph's like security is going to go and stop like this man with much bigger and like professional security guards they probably just let him take the fish to the bathroom and work you know questioning themselves but that's not the only account we have of this i wouldn't just say like oh we're going to talk about this fish moment and give you one story <laughs> this person writes i can't believe we're doing this what are we doing i'm so glad you guys are here though I believe I know who the fish bathroom guy is. I think it's this A-list, mostly movie actor because I witnessed him doing something similar in 2016. He was at a supermarket in LA. Oh my gosh, he had been wearing sunglasses, but it was definitely Ba him based on his nose and his bodyguard next to him. I mean, being in LA, it could be any celebrity, but it looked like Tom Cruise. This person was at the fish part of the grocery store, and they claim that Tom was looking at every fish, like in the batch, carefully examining every fish the guy placed on the scale. Finally, he settled on one, not sure what kind it was though. The actor requested the man not to wrap it up, so that's actually the reason why I followed him. Hmm. I thought maybe they were filming a movie or something or they needed an emergency prop. Oh, that's a good guess. He went into the men's room with the fish and the bodyguard, but I stayed outside, afraid of appearing to be some, like, I guess, fan following a celebrity to the bathroom. Although when they opened the door to the restroom, I could see there was not a film crew inside. I waited like five minutes pretending to shop and then you went into the bathroom and there was no fish. I was curious and I went and found the fish in the garbage wrapped in a massive amount of paper towels and then I left. <gasps> Ew. Uh, I'm trying to think like would I wait around and go and look in a bathroom after? I mean, maybe if I saw a fish. Go no, that just seems like, wait, I just don't have enough time for that. But what a weird story. Also, the fact that it was like wrapped in a bunch of paper towels, like it's giving the guilt, embarrassment, like mm, trying to hide what he did. Ew. Here's another blind item all the way from China. They say, I worked for a fresh meat counter at a supermarket in Beijing, which was next to the seafood counter. One day in 2013 or May 2014, I saw this man order a fish and there was uh, two other men around him, like bodyguards in their sunglasses and black clothing. It was allegedly Tom Cruise. Um, I did not see what fish he got, but he was walking away from the counter and it was not wrapped. This guy was confused because he's like, okay, so is the guy going to eat the fish? Because like, wouldn't you want it wrapped and clean if you're going to go and eat it? At closing, my superior said that there was a fish, a pompano. I guess that's the kind of fish. Let's put a pompano on the screen. I guess that's Tom Cruise's kind. Um, <laughs> in the rubbish 
rubbish bin. I told her what I saw and the superior said she saw the same thing the day prior. Wait, so he was going to this like, was he working in China back in 2013, 2014? Here's another blind item that comes from Canada. And apparently this friend's like cousin saw the actor and was trying to like get pictures of them. They were like kind of like a celeb chaser back then. And they saw the actor go to the store and have their driver go out while the actor stayed in. Apparently the actor looked anxious. Tom was looking anxious. Like he was sort of bouncing up and down in his seat. The driver came back only with a white paper bag in his hand, which he started unwrapping before he even got the door open. It was some sort of whole fish. The actor, Tom Cruise, rolled down his window just far enough to grab the fish, but was unable to see what he did with it because the driver got in and they quickly sped away. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I, the bodyguards must be in on it. Now, it's interesting that last blind item brought up Tom exhibiting some anxiety, like being jumpy in the car, because other items say the same thing. Like this item, quote, this was my first time ever as an extra, and I was actually told I was lucky because I got to get more glimpses of the actors than most extras do. I noticed this A-list, mostly movie actor, seemed jumpy, sort of like he was on something. He was like bouncing on the balls of his feet. He wore specifically made shoes with really thick soles by the way i'm good at reading lips because i have partial hearing loss and that's getting worse as i age and as the shoot was ending i was on the other side of the street from him so i couldn't hear what he was saying but i read his lips and he kept saying something about fish he said the word at least three times now i love a good fish you know cooked fish like that will bring down my nerves but it seems like this fish might be a coping thing for some stress here's another one i saw this a-list mostly movie actor in boston in 2009 i did not read your blog but my friend does and i'm writing you on her advice i worked in the north end basically boston's little italy at the time and the actor came into my store and asked if we sold whole fish i told him no we're a small shop we only had a limited selection of fillets and he became agitated and asked if i knew where he could buy a whole fish. I directed him to a store around the corner and he left in a huff. It was weird and it happened so quickly I didn't have time to process it. It makes me question like what his relationship to fish is like. Like does he eat the fish? Does he fish for the fish? Like is he hunting the fish? I guess he doesn't have any romantic bond because he throws them in the trash after. But here's another item. I think I know the identity of fish lover. Back in 2015, 2016 I worked at a pet store in Georgia. A friend of mine worked the registers and would assist in the live animal department. One day that friend came up in tears and said that that A-list actor Tom Cruise flipped on her. He had come into the store about 10 minutes prior and had begun inquiring about fish. He wanted to purchase a, I'm not even going to try to say that, a plecotomus, which is a type of sucker mouth catfish. Girl, I can't. A sucker, a sucker mouth catfish. I guess that's what he wants. That can grow to 24 inches long and he said he wanted the biggest one we had my friend showed him the common plecos we had which grow to be the largest but none of them were about six inches longer or longer so they, they just had baby fish but he wants a whole fish like one that you'd buy at a supermarket he then began demanding that one was at least 20 inches long and my friend told him that we just did not have that size which this is interesting because this time he's looking for a live fish i guess he ended up having a tantrum and whining how he needed the fish now and he stormed out and said that he'd be considering a lawsuit oh wow interesting now there's just one more blind item i want to leave you guys with and this one is alleged it reads i think with the recent revelation that this foreign born permanent a-list group teens with fish it will not be long before we hear more stories about the relationship between the a-list actor and fish which is talking about tom cruise and i guess led zeppelin now i don't know like what tom and led have done together to go and harm teens with fish but there i think there's like enough smoke where there is definitely some fire at least a candle is burning over there that signifies that he has some love for fish that, you know, I love fish so much, but I feel like I can't even eat a fish right now. I had like really, I love a good Branzino, a halibut, like a, a halibut, a little pesto a halibut or something. Ooh, I should make that next week. Yeah. Also Valentine's Day is coming up soon. So maybe I'll have fish. Maybe I'll hold off till then. And I can like, by that point, I can get over like the Tom Cruise situation. Thank you for watching this clip from the Let's Get Into It podcast. To view the full episode, visit the link listed below.